So percent by mass is defined as the mass of your substance of interest, in this case I called it x, mass of x over the total mass of your solution, and we multiply this fraction by 100 to obtain a percentage. Mole fraction is a very similar metric or concept, except it deals in moles instead of mass. This is the moles of your substance of interest, or moles of x, over the total moles of the solution. So in this case, we usually don't turn this into a percentage, so mole fraction will vary in value between zero and one. And these values are actually similar when all the components of a solution have similar molar masses. That's because in this case, the masses and moles correspond in similar proportions. Molarity is defined as the moles of solute per liters of total solution, while molality is defined as the moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. So these are actually similar in dilute aqueous solutions. And that's because in dilute aqueous solutions, the liters of total solution and kilograms of solvent correspond quite closely. Okay, let's go through a problem to see how this all works in practice. So 20 grams of sucrose, and I've got the molecular formula of sucrose right here, were dissolved in 430 milliliters of ethanol. And there's ethanol's molecular formula. The density of this final solution was 0.937 grams per milliliter. If ethanol's density is 0.785 grams per milliliter, calculate the percent by mass, mole fraction, molality, and molarity for sucrose. So just so we're all on the same page here, we have a solution here where sucrose is the solute and ethanol is the solvent. So sucrose is dissolved in ethanol to create a solution. So for the first one, percent by mass, we know this is going to be mass of sucrose over the total mass of the solution, right? Which is mass of sucrose plus mass of ethanol in the denominator. And of course, we're gonna multiply that by 100 to obtain a percentage. So I saw I already have the mass of sucrose in grams, right? 20 grams of sucrose, that was given to me in the problem. And it really doesn't matter which units of mass we work with when we're calculating percent by mass, as long as they all match in the numerator and the denominator. So really what we need to find here is the mass of ethanol in grams. So I noticed in the problem we were given a volume of ethanol and then ethanol's density. So whenever you're given a substance's volume and density, you can find its mass. So I went ahead and did that here, 430 milliliters, multiplied by this ratio of 0.785 grams per one milliliter, canceled out the units of milliliters, and allowed me to determine we had 337.55 grams of ethanol. So I went ahead and plugged all my numbers into this formula here. 20 grams over 20 grams plus 337.55 grams, and I was able to find that this solution has a 5.6% by mass of sucrose. Okay, now moving on to the mole fraction. So similar process here, we've got moles of sucrose over the total moles of the solution, which is moles of sucrose plus moles of ethanol in the denominator. So I had to find moles of sucrose and moles of ethanol for this problem. And we should know how to convert grams to moles at this point. We simply take grams and divide it by the substance's molecular weight. And you can find molecular weight of sucrose by adding together the molecular weights of each one of its atoms together. And when, you'll do that, when you do that, you'll find that the molecular weight of sucrose is 342.3 grams. So when I do 20 grams divided by 342.3 grams, the grams of sucrose cancel out and I find that I have 0 0.058 moles of sucrose. Then I did the same thing for ethanol here. I know that I have 337.55 grams of ethanol now and the molecular weight of ethanol is 46.1 grams. So with the same calculation, I find that I have 7.32 moles of ethanol. So then I went ahead and just plugged in my molar amounts into this formula set up here. And I found that the mole fraction for sucrose in this solution is 0 0.0079. Okay, now moving on to molality. So molality we know is moles of sucrose over kilograms of ethanol because sucrose is our solute, ethanol is our solvent. So we really already have both of these things. So 0.058 moles of sucrose will go in the numerator, and we know grams of ethanol, so by uh, simply dividing by 1,000, I was able to convert it to kilograms of ethanol. I just moved the decimal place over three places to the left. 
and I found that the molality for sucrose was 0.172 lowercase m. That lowercase m is the symbol for molality. Okay, finally for the molarity, this is gonna be moles of sucrose per liters of total solution. So we already know moles of sucrose, again it's 0.058 moles of sucrose, but we didn't know liters of total solution, so I actually had to compute that down here. So I was given some information about the final total solution, right? The density of it was 0.937 grams per milliliter. And you can think about density as sort of a way to convert between mass and volume. If you have volume, you can go to mass. If you have mass, you can go to volume, as long as you have the density. So in this case, we want the volume of the total solution, and we have the total mass of the solution, right? We already found that it's 337.55 grams plus 20 grams for a total of 357.55 grams. We already found that up here when the denominator was the total mass of our solution. So since we have the density, we can find the total volume of the solution. So all I'm gonna do is set up this conversion table where I have the total mass of the solution times the ratio of the density, one milliliter per 0.937 grams, and I can cancel out grams here, and I find that the total solution must have a final volume of 381.59 milliliters, but since we want liters, 0.38159 liters goes in our denominator, and I find that the molarity of this solution for sucrose is 0.152, and you can see molarity is abbreviated with this capital M here. Molality is a lowercase m. So I really hope this helped you guys out. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video.